What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Prime to ready to deliver you a bit of a team update video for week four here in the PFC Fantasy League. The Memphis Prime Apes have been talking about it for a little while. That Gyarados wasn't exactly doing anything fantastic for our team. Well, finally, we had the opportunity, we've had the opening to take care of that. And Gyarados is no longer a member of the Memphis Prime Apes. And no longer, nor will he ever be. I thought I could, you know, draft him at the beginning of the season and, you know, make, make do with something. But I just couldn't find an opening to bring him in any of my matches so far. There were just enough threats that were keeping him out. Uh, fast electric types that I didn't want him to have to deal with. Stuff like that. That made me know that bringing him wasn't our best bet. So... When it came down to it, it, it just it just wasn't going to work, and we needed something to take the place of him, and I wanted another really heavy, hard-hitting physical attacker. And my biggest wonder was, can we have the normal version of a Mega that's owned by someone else in the league? And I talked to commissioners, and they said that that was okay. So, what we decided to do is scoop up Metagross. Metagross is one of the most devastating physical attackers in OU, and has been since his introduction in Gen 3. Metagross is always going to be one of the mons that stands out as one of the most devastating forces in all of Pokemon. It's too powerful. It's just too good. You you can't, you know, knock it. It's It's just... It's phenomenal. It's absolutely top-notch Mon, and not many people really realize how good it can be. And kind of don't you don't see it as often as you'd think, unless it's a Mega anymore. Because let's be honest, Mega Metagross is astronomically better. That's kind of the point of Megas, but. Regular Metagross has a lot of potential. It can be run as a sweeper with agility or rock polish to get its speed up and doesn't really need any attack boosts, but Meteor Mash can scoop up a plus one attack boost randomly if it wants to, making you a verified monster in the end of the day. It can be run physical or special. If you really, really wanted to, you can run like a, like a mixed set in, in some instances, and that would work. Overall, it has so much potential to be a real powerhouse for our team. It has a huge opportunity to come in at some point this season and just absolutely demolish somebody's team. And that's pretty much what I'm going to try to make it do. I want to... I want to have Metagross come in and just be that star for a match. Come in and just pick up kill after kill after kill and honestly just demolish everything. And I mean everything that gets in its path. So that's that's our update there. Um, when it comes to uh, the other leagues we are in, being the PPBA and the MBC. Those leagues have kind of fallen to the wayside. The MBC, more than the PPBA, at least some of the guys in the PPBA are trying to get things going again, but it's just not happening. Um, but overall, I don't like uh, putting up the showdown battles. I'm not a huge fan of them. Aesthetically, I don't like them. I mean, I can put face cam on them, you can kind of see my reactions, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So I've made the decision, it took a lot of thought, but I made the decision to no longer upload the actual battles from the PPBA and the MBC, and to kind of just give a, um, kind of give an overall, um, I guess, a recap of it. Is that that's one way of looking at it? Kind of just give a recap of what went down that week to you guys. Kind of kind of record a video and recap it, just kind of 
keep you guys informed. If you guys even want to be, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I take notes during the battles about what goes down, so I mean, it wouldn't be hard for me to do the recaps, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But, um, yeah, it's just kind of, they just kind of are stale to me, to be honest. I mean, it's not that we're losing. I don't care that we lose. We lost this past week in the PFC, and, or we, uh, I have to edit that out. Shit. But anyway, I've lost before on the channel. I've lost showdown matches on the channel. I've lost plenty of times in my career as playing Pokemon. I'm not saying I'm the best player ever. I don't. I I don't like losing, but I don't care if I lose. I'm not the. I like. I don't claim to be the best. So when it comes to that, I lose pretty often. I don't care if I lose. So that's not why I'm going to stop uploading the battles. It's just. I'm not as focused on the PBBA and the MBC as I am with the PFC Fantasy League. I'm 100% focused on the PFC. Uh, those are my friends. I know them very well. I, I've become close to some of them. I talk to them co like on a daily basis almost. They, they're a good bunch of guys that I know very well and I'm, I, I'm proud to say are my friends. And I enjoy that league exponentially more than others than the others I'm in so that's pretty much where I'm at with that um, the NBC I don't know if that's gonna really end up continuing I might even just end up dropping that because I've been waiting like two or three weeks for my next battle to happen and it's just not happening he hasn't gotten in contact with me he said he would get in contact with me this past Monday from when I'm recording this, and it was like, that was almost a week ago from right now, so, I don't know, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, oh well, oh well to those, I mean, again, the PFC is going to always be the focus, uh, and that's going to be a big thing on the channel for a long time, until we decide to finally shut down the Fantasy League, if we ever do. Um, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with that, but the Memphis Prime are going to stay strong, and we're going to continue to stay strong week in and week out, season after season, and we're just going to constantly make that drive for the cup, because why not? But, um, that's about all I have for you guys today. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys are excited for our new free agent scoop on the Memphis Prime, it was being Metagross. Please make sure to leave a like as well. Uh, make sure to comment uh, what you think about the whole MBC and PPBA thing. Uh, give me give me your feedback on what you guys think I should do when it comes to that. Um, yeah, just give me your feedback. I kind of want to you know hear what you guys have to say. And um. That's about it. Till next time, guys. I'm Poke Primer. Signing off.